What's up, garden gang? Welcome back to Carden's Gardens, and welcome if you're new. My name is Lauren Carden, and today we are going to San Diego. San Diego is about 120 miles south of Los Angeles, which is about two to four hours by car, depending on traffic. I am in Temecula. Pulled over to use the restroom. I'm about halfway to San Diego. It's like 1.30. I'll probably get there at like 2.30 or 3. And I just figured while I'm stopped, I may as well tell you guys why I'm going to San Diego. So my cousin got married back in June, which was a beautiful time. Jamie and Andy Babo. And her new husband has a cousin. So my cousin's husband's cousin happens to live out in California. We met out at the wedding in Ohio and realized that we both actually graduated high school together. So we caught up a lot at the wedding and he's down in San Diego this weekend. So I'm gonna go meet up with him and it should be a good time. So excited to get there and get back on the road. Let's go. There are so many fun things to do in San Diego, depending on the experience you're looking for. There's tons of great food, beautiful beaches, a really fun nightlife, and so many unique places to explore. We're headed to Ocean Beach to enjoy the sunshine, sand, and get some great food and drinks. There are tons of places to eat and drink all over Ocean Beach, but I highly recommend checking out The Holding Company. It's a three-story bar and restaurant with a really fun environment and great views of the ocean. Each floor at The Holding Company has a completely different vibe. The rooftop is a very chill and laid back environment with great views of the Pacific Ocean and would be amazing at sunset. The middle is much more of a trendy college bar vibe. It's got indoor and outdoor seating, great music, and just a super cool and modern aesthetic. And then the ground floor at the holding company is arguably the best floor in my opinion. They regularly have live music and there's no cover charge if you get there before 9 p.m. For lunch, we decided to grab tacos from a little walk-up place called Mike's Tacos. It's a really convenient walk-up restaurant with indoor and outdoor seating and is super close to the beach. I got the steak and shrimp burrito and my friend got the fish tacos and both of our meals were amazing. I'd highly recommend stopping by Mike's Tacos if you want to get some great tacos or burritos in San Diego. We love live music, so after the beach we pop back over to the holding company to see the Stevie Nicks Illusion Band. They're a Fleetwood Mac and Stevie Nicks cover band and they were seriously so good and so much fun. There's so much fun nightlife in San Diego, from Ocean Beach to Pacific Beach to the Gas Lamp Quarter. So no matter what you're into, there will definitely be something for you to enjoy. That was cool. In the morning, we had brunch with some friends at the Antiques Row Cafe. I highly recommend checking it out if you're into American-style diner food. It has a really charming environment, great drinks, and amazing and huge pastries. Now we're headed up to La Jolla, which is known for its beautiful coves, cliff sides, tons of various water sports and activities, beautiful parks and golf courses, and of course their world famous nude beach. <coughs> Don't worry though, there's no nudity in this video, but here's a clip of a sea lion instead to make the transition less awkward. There's tons to do, eat and see in La Jolla, but my favorite part was definitely seeing all of the seals and sea lions in their natural habitat. If you have kids, there are tons of family-friendly activities to do and see in La Jolla and all over San Diego. We stumbled upon a really cute bubble park in La Jolla and all of the kids were having an amazing time. And of course, there's nothing like a Southern California sunset. So even if you're driving back to LA, make sure you take a moment to enjoy the beautiful view. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up down below and leave a comment. Have you ever been to San 
San Diego? If you have, what was your favorite part? If you haven't, what's your number one must do thing when you're there? Make sure you hit that red subscribe button for more videos like this one and I'll see you next time on Cardin's Gardens. Bye. That was cool. We don't work hard for this. You can tell I'm on heart in it. I love my women with some confidence. Hard to get it back and go bald and we. We was dropping out apartments. Going to your dome where the carbon is. We done popped out carbonate. And when we top down, know what time it is. We done worked hard for this. You can tell.